Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face tutorial just using Charlotte Tilbury products. Basically, I'm just going to try and look like a Victoria's Secret angel. So as far as the makeup industry goes, if you weren't living under a rock, you would know that Charlotte Tilbury and her team were responsible for doing the makeup for the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Um, my friend on here, Jenna Fraz, she did a video following the exact tutorial that Charlotte Tilbury posted creating a look and that kind of inspired me to do this video. But I'm not recreating the exact same look. I kind of went in my own direction with a really pretty glowy look that I would do. So yeah, if you want to learn how I got this really beautiful glowy pretty look, then just keep watching. Hello! Okay, so excuse the drowned rat vibe we have going on here. I was gonna wait for my hair to dry and then curl it and then do this, but ain't nobody got time for that. So whatever, while my hair is drying, I'm gonna start my makeup. So I've already moisturized and prepped my face. So the first product we are going to go into is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I am in the shade one. So this is a newer product for me. I might have used this video as an excuse to buy myself this product. But I've been desperately wanting to try it because Chloe's skin is all the rage and I think this is an amazing product to make that happen. I've seen so many people use this product differently. I've seen people basically apply everywhere all over their face before they do their foundation. I've seen people apply it just on the high points of their face. I'm not gonna lie, I've only used this twice, so I'm still playing around with how I like it. But I feel like this is the kind of product that peaks through throughout the day. So as the day goes on and your foundation kind of wears a little bit is when this product really starts to shine, literally and figuratively. But I mean, it does gorgeous things to your skin if you really like a dewy complexion. I don't think I'd go out like wearing just this, but Wow. Next, I'm using the Light Wonder Foundation. I am in the shade number three, Fair. Again, I'm not super experienced with this product. I've worn it about three times now, though, so I definitely have an opinion on it. I mean, you can definitely thank the Victoria's Secret show for me wanting to purchase this foundation. I just am so obsessed with having glowy skin now. But this is definitely one of the lightest coverage foundations that I own. So if you have a very troubled skin and like a really heavy or full coverage foundation, you are not going to like this. Personally, I would say I'm a medium coverage girl. That's just the kind of coverage I like. So this is a little bit lighter than I normally would go for. But ever since I've been wearing it, I've really been enjoying it. The only problem is, like, I do have a lot of acne problems right here. Well, not a lot, but my skin doesn't like me down here. So I do have to go in with a little extra product on the lower half of my face. You could always put a concealer down first as well. I just never really do that, to be honest. If the foundation don't cover it, oh well. I feel like with zits, we're really self-conscious, but honestly, when you see people on the street that have a couple of breakouts, you know, you don't really think anything of it. Like, you, you hardly even notice it. So it's just our own insecurities. If a couple of zits shows, what's the big deal? Especially just for like, every day you know so i'm looking gorgeous and glowy right now this is a lovely color on me i i look really washed out and like sick right now but it's coming together i promise i didn't own everything to create a full face of charlotte tilbury so i had to steal something for my mom so this is the brow lift it is a three-way eyebrow tool uh, i did play with it last night so i could tell you about it a little bit at least so on one side you have a spoolie which is lovely the other side you have the actual product, which I'm like a really fine tip ABH brow is kind of girl. And this is that like triangle thicker shape that I don't really like. And then the third part of this is a little powder thingy that you highlight with. Cool, I guess. I don't know. It's probably a feature I would never use. I'm such a diehard ABH brow is girl or ABH pomade girl. I just, I support ABH as far as eyebrow products goes. I don't tell anybody I've been secretly into Benefit. But anyways, I'm an ABH girl, so I... I'm having problems. This isn't a bad eyebrow product by any means. It's just not what I prefer or what I'm used to. <sighs> Alright, so here's the deal. <laughs> it's just not what I'm used to, so... 
I'm not that big of a fan of it. All right, so next up we have the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I'm in the shade two. So I really do like this concealer so far. What I don't like is the packaging. I really hate this packaging, like a lot. But other than that, formulation wise, I like the coverage on it. Um, it has a really decent amount of coverage without being too heavy, like the Tarte Shape Tape, cause you know, it's not my favorite concealer, but kudos to you, Charlotte. Just gonna push that into the skin. As you can see, this has really decent coverage. This particular shade is really good for me as well. Okay, so normally this powder isn't what I would use to set my under eyes, but for the sake of the video, I'm using the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm in the shade too. This powder is absolutely beautiful. I just don't like it necessarily for my under eye. I just find when I set my under eyes with this, I crease like crazy. I'm trying not to put too much powder on my face today because I really want to glow. So I'm gonna take a little bit of extra concealer that's on the concealer wand and I'm really quickly going to define the under brows because I just, I need to. Just for a little teachable moment here, do you see how much sharper and better that looks than this one? I mean, there's a time and a place to just have a soft brow that doesn't need defined or highlighted, but there's something that's just so, what, snatched, whatever, whatever that lingo is. So I'm already feeling way better about life. Okay, so next we're going in with the Hollywood Contour Wand. Mine is in the shade Fair Medium. Okay, so I'm about to scare you. I love this product, by the way. There's something about cream contour bronzer that I love. Look at this. Isn't this so scary looking? Now watch the magic happen. This is truly an amazing product. Don't be intimidated by it. I promise you. Ow, I'm like hitting myself really hard in the head. Look at this. This is magic. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Cream and liquid contours and bronzers, you guys. I always go back to them. They're fantastic. So I'm just not gonna set my face because I want to keep my skin glowy. I am going to use a few powder products though. So starting off with the Glowing Pretty Skin Palette, I'm gonna take this bronze and contour shade right here. If you are any darker than me, this is a useless color for you, but if you are about my shade, this is really a beautiful contour shade. And I just am using it just to set outside my face. Just really show off that contour and bone structure. Kind of get under the jawline as well. And I think that's all I'm going to do with this palette. But this is a really neat palette that I believe you can still pick up on our website. So let's move on to the eyeballs. I'm going to reapply a little bit of concealer that's kind of on my sponge. I'm just gonna blend that into the eyelid because we are about to get into the eyeshadow. Now eyeshadow today, I'm going pretty simple. I know a lot of you guys love her eyeshadow quads. Those are just something that I could never get into, never really felt like investing in. So I don't have any of her eyeshadow quads. I do have the Stars In Your Eyes palette, as many of you may know, I did a review on it. <clears throat> so we're gonna do a nice wearable look today. It's hard to believe, but most of the time I actually wear pretty neutral <laughs> eyes out in public. So we're gonna stay within the love eyes section for the first few colors. So I'm gonna start off with this color on my underbrow. This is going to set the concealer that I used to define that shape. This color actually goes on slightly deeper than it looks in the pan. So it's not highlighting as much as I would like it to. While I'm at it, whatever is left on the brush, I'm going to kind of set my eye because this concealer is creasing and it's bothering me. Now we shall be taking this shade from Love Eyes and I'm gonna take that on a big fluffy blending brush and put that all over the crease. If you're curious, this is the Morphe E27. Really lovely transition shade brush if you have smaller eyes. So we are gonna do a little bit of work from this section. So I'm just gonna take this middle color right here and that is going to be used in the outer corner just for a little added definition. Originally, I didn't want too much definition in my look, but I just think it will look better with a little bit more. 
I'm making the ugliest faces right now. I am sorry. While I'm at it, I'm going to take both of those colors and I'm just going to apply them to the lower lash line. So I'm taking the lighter crease color and putting that down first. This is the Morphe M562. Lately, I've been obsessed with it for applying lower lash line color. Usually I use a different brush, but this has been fantastic. Now I'm taking the darker color we just used and focusing that on the outer edge. Now focusing it on the outer edge is going to help bring your eyes out to make them a little bit more almond shaped. Creating that elongated eye, I think it's very, very flattering for most eye and face shapes. Dipping into the power eye section, I know my brush looks disgusting, please ignore that. Uh, it's clean, I promise. I'm gonna take that color and I'm just going to apply it all over my lid. Forgot how beautifully this brush applies lid colors. I've been using my fingers for so long. I'm really bringing this light color pretty up high on the inner half of my lid to really open them up and, I don't know, do you see how it's more awake and glistening my eyes look? Taking my finger, I'm just going to use this color in the middle. This shade is a little bit lighter and it has less of a pigmented base and adds a little bit of extra shimmer and pizzazz to that lid color. So I don't know if you can tell, but that really kind of brightened up my eyes a little bit more, added a little bit of fun sparkle. All right, so now we are going to move on to blush. My eyes are looking lovely and blended. We will go back to that in a second. I'm kind of a newbie to Charlotte Tilbury blushes, the cheek to chic blushes. Very new to these. These are absolutely gorgeous though. I know I love them. I've been using them for a few days, but we have Love Glow and Sex on Fire. These are like called nipple blushes. <laughs> This one looks like a nipple. I don't know if I want to go with a pinky or a deeper color. I think this one. I'm such a pink blush gal. I love pink blushes. I like them better than the orangey peachy blushes everybody nowadays loves. So, I think you're supposed to like swirl and burp. Well, whatever. This blush is beautiful. I wore it earlier today. Blush is low-key, like, my favorite part of makeup now. This is a new thing for me. I used to not care for blush, and now I'm just, like, overly obsessive about blush, and I always apply too much. I look like I have a mullet right now. Boom. Ooh, so pretty. Highlighter. I'm so excited to talk about this guy again. This is the Bar of Gold palette. Um, in my review of it, I liked it, but I wasn't super blown away about it. So, the last few months... That I've been using it. I've just fell in love with it more and more. It's one of my go-to palettes. I also use it for wedding makeup now. I think it's so beautiful on bridesmaids and brides and I just love it. So I'm gonna go in with just the original Bar of Gold color. This first color right here. That's just going on my cheeks. It's like a subtle highlighter but it's really not. It's actually quite blinding. It looks really beautiful smooth on the skin. I love this highlighter. My eyes are so red right now. So I'm just gonna take some Fix Plus. Mm. Melt into my skin. Whew. Am I looking like a Victoria's Secret model yet? So I'm gonna go off camera because the products I'm about to use are not Charlotte Tilbury, sorry. <laughs> but I'm gonna put on a little bit of, like probably like a subtle wing, lashes, mascara, all that good stuff, and I will be right back. Lashes and liner makes such the biggest difference. Lips. Um, I was gonna do a different combo, but I wore this combo today out and I was just freaking obsessed, so I'm going to share with you. So I'm starting off with the Lip Cheap Lip Liner in the shade Hot Gossip. I'm going to fill in a little bit, but I'm not that concerned with getting that color everywhere. And the lipstick I'm going in with is Pillow Talk. Now, I have a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury lipstick swatch videos, so you guys should check those out because I'm literally obsessed with her lipstick. She has one of the best formulas, in my opinion. So, Pillow Talk is just kind of one of those nice, like, natural lip color colors, like your lips, but better. And then I'm going in with the... what is this? I don't know what this specifically is called, but this is a lip gloss in the shade Blondie. This gloss is great because it goes with so many different lip colors. 
and yeah i mean that's it wow my skin looks so beautiful and glowy i'm gonna do my hair and i will be right back isn't it amazing what doing your hair can do for your whole look do i look like a victoria's secret angel right now I'm just kidding. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing this look. It is really fresh and pretty and glowy. I don't know. I never like have such glowy looking skin and I'm really, really digging it. I always go kind of crazy with my looks. So I thought I'd go a little bit more natural today. I think most of you will kind of appreciate that. Charlotte Tilbury products are amazing. Initially, the brand never really appealed to me. But as I've gotten into her products, I realized how amazing they are and how amazing they work. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below what your favorite Charlotte Tilbury products are I want to know especially if I didn't feature them in this video maybe like an eyeshadow quad that you love since I don't have any for eyeshadow quads I don't know anyways let me know some other brands you would like to see me use and I will see you guys in the next video bye